Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about grouping. So this isn't groups as in audio group channels, this is as in grouping parts and events etc together. So if you ever have the same edit to do to multiple parts on multiple tracks, if you have to do it more than once, it's generally a good idea to use groups and this is available in Cubase Pro and Cubase Artist but not the versions below, so not Elements and AI etc. It's pretty straightforward. You just highlight the parts you want to group and you do Command or Control G and you'll see this little sort of three dot icon will appear and then anything you do to those grouped parts will be done to all of them. And you can see here now I can trim these. If I trim this one, they all get trimmed. Saves a lot of reselection, etc. And it's the kind of thing you need to do and then you'll need to ungroup them. And when you want to ungroup them, all you have to do is Command or Control U and you see that disappears and now they are back to being individual. Makes life really easy. It works for audio, it works for instruments as well and MIDI. So I've got some instrument tracks here. You can see I can group them in a similar way, cut them and that works as well. And if I just undo what I did to those, you can also see you can have different types of tracks selected at the same time. So I'll do these two instruments and these two audio. I can group those and providing I'm doing something which is sane for them, you can do the same as well. So grouping really can save you an awful lot of uh, playing around, reselecting things, etc. particularly when you're working on things, you know, backing vocals, etc., multi-track drums, that kind of thing. Makes life a lot easier. So that's your quick tip for today. As ever, hope you found this useful. And if you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.